a UN biodiversity meeting is underway in Kunming, China. In a suburb of the city, there's a special farmer who comes from Belgium. His name is Patrick Nice. Nice served as the Belgian ambassador to China from 2009 to 2013. During his tenure, he decided to retire early and stay in China, a country he loves. He settled in Dungchuan district of Kunming with his wife, and together they built their own home in a mountain forest. Here, Nice and his wife have been exploring permaculture, trying to fulfill their commitment to protecting the environment and maintaining biodiversity. Living in Dungchuan for around eight years, what changes has he witnessed and what does he think about China's biodiversity protection efforts? I'm here to find out. Yunnan is, uh, is a place where you have uh, a lot of uh, diversity, biodiversity, human diversity, cultural diversity, beautiful landscape, good climate. So if you look at the challenges ahead, uh, especially with the, the climate change, uh, the response of China will be the key of the solution. So uh, I wanted to be part of it. I wanted to be in China to, uh, to be part of uh, the response of China to the global challenges. And also do my best to uh, bring China to the world and the world to China. So I came here for the first time in 2012. And uh, at the time, uh, it was very difficult to access here. This, this, this road was just a kind of a mud track, you know. Uh, yeah, so the main change we had in, in these uh, nine years is uh, the infrastructure has developed tremendously. So now you have a, a highway to Wulong, so the water supply, the, the garbage uh, collection system, uh, Wi-Fi, uh, telephone, communication. So biodiversity is, number one, a very important facet of Yunnan. So I think the Chinese government was smart enough to uh, come with this conference on biodiversity to Kunming. The Chinese government has decided to go green, you know. Uh, I mean, it's changing. And, um, and uh, you know, China changes fast. And uh, I, I, I would not be surprised that China would be a, a, a green leader 10 years from now. So, and I, I hope that uh, this Kunming meeting will, will give the, the momentum to, um, to, to, to have the, the stamina, the energy to take the right decisions in Glasgow. I think we have to learn from China, but China has to learn also from the world, you know. We have to go together for this. And it has the political system which is able to address the issue in a, in a very uh, uh, decisive way, moving uh, in this global ecological civilization where, where men would have a, a very uh, positive uh, contact and uh, relationship with, with, with nature, the mountains, rivers and so on, which is very Chinese also because it's very poetic in, in, this, in this way of depicting things, but it's the way Chinese, Chinese are moving and I, I respect that very much and it's, it's also very much appealing.